know you've only watched film on two days, but you know, for three days of camp, what do you uh, what do you think of your group so far? You know, for three days, these guys are really mentally um, ahead of everywhere that I've been, or they're ahead of the schedule as far as just mentally and understanding what's going on. And I think these guys have played a lot of football. Uh, we've got some savvy guys, some savvy veterans that have played and been around the system that they've done a lot of stuff. And you know, we kind of stripped some of that stuff away, and we're playing a little bit more of a simpler defense. And uh, what they have to do is now master their fundamentals. And that's where kind of those, those little nuanced situations come in with these guys, their techniques, stuff they haven't played before. But as far as knowing where to be and knowing what to do, they are way far ahead of anywhere I thought they would be by practice three. Some of the stuff is, that we're seeing out there is very advanced, and these guys are getting lined up to it and running what we need them to run. Now we're just going to start to tweak the finer details of it, and that's going to be great film as they get in here and watch it. I heard a couple guys say this is a little simpler defense. In what way is it simpler? What does that mean? Well, what we do is everything's just everything's based on we're going to play what we play 80% of the time. That's going to be we're going to be in the same defense. Now there's going to be some different things we'll do off of what the offense gives us, but we're going to be in it 80% of the time. How we line up, you know, what our fundamentals are. So when those guys master the fundamentals, now it's all about what the offense is doing. So you know, our linebackers are going to be you know where they're going to be. They can only be in you know a handful of different alignments. That's it. And they're going to know their job in, in, in everything that we're in. So once they learn those nuances, it's all about, OK, well, what's that running back doing? What's this formation that the offense gave me that tells me what the play is? So you know, we're not going to change up defenses. We're not going to say, well, it's third down. Then we're going to run this coverage. It's first down or this, that. We're going to run this. We're going to run cover two. We're going to run cover th all these different coverages. It's going to be one thing, and we're going to get really good at it. What are you looking for out of Matt Galambos this year? He's your only returning starter, correct? Yeah. Yep. Is there anything particular in the spring that you want to see from him? I think yeah, for any guy that's that's been in there and that's been in the fire, you just want to see some leadership. Mm -hmm. And leadership comes in so many different ways. I mean, I, I'm not a guy who demands that guys have to be vocal. Um, but I'd like to see, as the Mike linebacker, he's the guy that's going to get us lined up and make all the calls. So that comes with its own leadership. And uh, if he can get that done, that's that's if he can just do that and command the defense, um, and I, when we get out of spring after 15 practices, if, he, if he's learned to command the defense and take the reins of that stuff, then I'll be really happy with where we're going to go because I think you know, when you do that, it gives guys great pride and responsibility and that, that kind of vocal leadership starts to come when they realize everyone's looking at them. Have you seen glimmers of that from him yet? Or? I think I have and I think that's part of it. When you start talking about all these guys being far ahead mentally, you know, that's the guy that's also getting us all together as 11 guys. Um, and I've really thought all of the guys have done it. And I've seen glimmers from him, really seen glimmers from Mike Caprera, uh, Jay Folston, all those guys, uh, Quentin Virginis, those guys, all of them are getting us lined up. I mean, those, that, it's their job. And um, you know, all four of them have gotten us lined up, which is incredibly impressive. When you go down our line all the way to the fourth guy, everyone's knowing what to do. And that's on them. You know, that's on them really taking pride and getting lined up. Those are the Mike guys you mentioned. Yep. Now. What about uh, Grigsby and Bam? Where do you see them fitting in the, in the linebacker court? Well, those guys are our outside guys. And, um, you know, really the outside positions, you know, we got a guy, you know, Freeze will be a, a field guy. He'll play a lot to the field. Um, he's an athletic guy. Uh, really saw the field on third down last year only. Um, so that's a little bit new for him to kind of at times be in the box and having to play physical and play run. So many times he's been playing pass on third down these last couple of years. So for him to be in the box, it'll be new to learn how to fit runs and be physical and take on fullbacks and take on offensive alignment. But those two are going to be critical to what we're going to have to do. And we're really going to have to work also to find some depth behind those guys because, you know, as we know, offense is in the hurry up tempo. You know, we're going to need six guys that can go out there and play. And those edge positions are so critical because they are usually walked out on wide receivers. You've got to be able to tackle in space, play in space, and run for 80 plays a game. You're starting out with those two guys on the outside. Right now, those guys are working, but we are. There is no no starters are set. We're running ones and twos and threes. But I mean, in a given day, if you're not running the ball, you're not getting lined up. We're gonna we're gonna put someone else in there. But those guys right now are working on the outsides together, playing at the same with the same unit. Um, but it's gonna be we're gonna find the best three, the best three that give us a shot to go win the ACC championship. We're gonna play. Who are the other outside guys that are step up? Right, I've been impressed with Reggie Green. It's a converted wide receiver, played quarterback out of high school, played a bunch of different positions of DN in high school. He's been impressive as far as mentally knowing what to do and being in the right spot. We just got to work with him now to become a linebacker uh, and play lower. 
Um, Jamal Davis has done some nice things. He's a physical kid. Um, saw him get physical today and some gaps on some run plays, so he's been impressive. Uh, Mike Caprera has been really impressive as a backup Mike, uh, middle linebacker, getting us lined up, making all the calls. I think Jay Folson's a young guy um, that I see a lot of, a lot of uh, uh, promise to, a guy that can play fast, is a big guy, uh, and even, and even quick more genus. Um, you know, it's a guy, it's a young guy that can come and play for us. But I'd like, you know, everybody, to me right now with a young, with a, with a young team, uh, a young group, um, like you said, only one starter returning and a new staff coming in. I've been incredibly impressed by the entire defensive unit, but especially my guys' willingness to accept the new coaching and accept the new system. You know, to me, that's where it starts. If there's no acceptance of that, then we're not going to get anything done. And we're only going to be as good as these guys want to be. And I, I'll tell you what, through three practices, it's the best I've seen as far as will and want to.